We gather today because God has called us together to witness this wonderful event. But not only to witness, but to praise Him in our actions and in our song. And so we sing glory to God as we begin this liturgy, repeating the refrain after our cantor.
reading from the book of Genesis, the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he called them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals. But none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he had brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called a woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord.
God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Love is patient and kind, paints a pretty picture. 
But underneath, Paul is building a framework of sacrifice. Marriage requires a firm structure of sacrificial love, not the pretty facade of emotional attachment. St. Paul reminds all of us that true love, that that love, that, that sacrificial love, is the same type of love Jesus showed. A willingness to sacrifice himself so that others can live more fully. That is what you're called to. This is the kind of love, this Jesus love, Christine and Justin. You are saying you want to give each other in this ceremony. The gift of yourself without reservation, holding nothing back. Don't rely on me. But always remember that love is something that we choose to do for the partner and others beyond our relationship. You've erected the foundation and internal structure over the years of your relationship so far. Now we, the church, declare that we see the whole building as revealing to the world the beauty of marriage. As many of you know, Christine works with a wonderful organization called Hospice. The people of Hospice come to and support people on a journey, that final journey, to death and God. To a union with God. Here is another image of what we are here to recognize this afternoon. God has given Christine and Justin, and Justin and this is the skeleton. <laughs> Can't your name is... No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is skeleton. God has given Christine and Justin each other to accompany one another. To recognize... That's what we're recognizing today. That they're on a journey. And they need each other on this journey through life. And yes, it's the journey to God. One of the purposes of the grace of marriage in our faith is God's way of giving each of us call to marriage, a helpmate, a partner to support us in growing more and more into the image of Christ. The one who loved perfectly, unreservedly. The goal of growing into Christ leads us to a perfect union with Him in heaven. In their good times and bad, in taking care of each other in sickness and enjoying the companionship of each other in healthy times, in the joys and challenges of raising children as partners, they will learn the depths of God's love. That they are called to be part of forever. In their sacrifices, in their decision to love, the profound bond of Jesus that he showed in his sacrifice on the cross for the bond of all of us as church will become more and more a reality in their lives so that they can go through this cross to everlasting life. So now, is, Father Vince, let us witness and proclaim that God is among us as we watch why we are here to see Justin and Christine become more and more than a couple in love that they've been up to this point. As they become what God called them to be, a sacrament of his love in the flesh, the next step on their journey to complete union in God forever.
friends, we come together in this church to have the Lord to see and strengthen your love, the presence of the church of ministry, and, 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 and the presence of the church of ministry in this entire community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. There's already consecrated your baptism. Now he strengthens you, enriches you by a special sacrament that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Justin and, and uh, Christine, have you come here freely, without reservation, to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your life? Yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God, bring them up, according to the law of Christ and his church. Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands, declare your consent before God and his church. I Justin take you, Christine. I Justin take you, Christine. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Christine, take you, Justin. I, Christine, take you, Justin. To be my husband. My husband. I promise to be true to you. I to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord's goodness bless you and strengthen you and fill you and fill you with his blessing. What God has joined, no one must divide. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless these rings which you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Christine, take this ring. Christine, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
for all those who guide the Christian community, that they may help foster the vocation of marriage and encourage all who witness to Christ by his doctrine of love. We pray to the Lord. For the reconciliation of all who are exchanged in our world, for nations at war, human communities that daily experience violence, for people who suffer terrorism, that, they may be, that there may be peace and justice in our day. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For Justin and Christine, that they may grow in the love of Christ, which they celebrate this day and share that love with the church, community, and all they encounter. We pray to the Lord. Lord. That the spirit of justice will help Justin and Christine in difficult times and lead them to rejoice in God's favor when life is good. We pray to the Lord. Lord. That Justin and Christine may know the support and love of family and friends all the days of their life together. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who are gathered here to celebrate with Justin and Christine, that they may have safe travels, good health, and be generous in sharing the gifts God has given them with those in need. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who are gathered here to celebrate with Justin and Christine, that by witnessing the couple's promise of love, that each be renewed in our own vocation of witness to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For the deceased relatives of Justin and Christine, that they may know the eternal life God has promised them, and that those that these beloved beds will intercede before God's throne for this couple all the days of their married life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We make these prayers in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant that we who 
who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make the last and eternal offer to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with blessed Joseph, the spouse of Mary, with St. Justin Martyr, and with all the saints of this constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. Strengthen, we pray, in the grace of marriage, Justin and Christine, whom you have brought happily to their wedding day, that under your protection they may always be faithful in their lives to the covenant they have sealed in your presence. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at your passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. 
and grant that searching, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope they may come to the light of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord.
for the sacrifice, O Lord, accompanied with your loving favor, but in your providence you have instituted, so as to make of one heart and love those who have already joined in this holy union and replenished with the one bread and the one chalice, through Christ our Lord. 